Rick, let's just debrief uh, Toronto's defeat in overtime and the goal by Braden Point. Kevin. Well, isn't it a typical overtime goal where you get a chance in one end and, and Matthews with the deflection we're going to see here from Marner and Toronto outshot them nine to five, right? But this happens the other way. Matthews falls, but this is your classic high flip it, don't gap up. Hagel comes with a ton of speed, hits Kalorn, and then points on the doorstep for a rebound. And Marner made a great play at a high flip it. D couldn't get up the ice. It's overtime, right? Guys are tired, and Hagel came with so much speed that he backed them in, and it's a shot on net rebound. That's an overtime goal. Going to game seven. First of all, that was that was a great overtime. Yeah. Like just the quality of hockey in that period was exceptional. And in the last three years, the guy who was proven he is the ultimate difference maker in the playoffs, the MVP of the postseason, it's Vasilevsky. And as Kevin mentioned, Toronto outshot Tampa Bay. They had some excellent chances. Kelly had pointed out that there were times in this series that Vasilevsky looked much more shaky than we're used to seeing him. Not in this overtime, not in this one. He was huge. Toronto had the better chances, and he simply wouldn't let them win. I would agree, Elliot, and uh, that was probably the best period that we've seen from Vasilevsky, considering the pressure and uh, uh, the way in which he carried himself. I mean, he just looked really, really confident, right? You said at the get-go, uh, Kelly, they had to have a performance from the point line, and they got it, obviously. Boy, did they ever. And it started early, and Sorelli just such a, a beast throughout the entire playoffs uh, defensively, but he needed to get on the board. Here's a bad play by Mikheyev, and Sorelli was all over that, recognized it. Watch his spinorama and goes along the ice on Jack Campbell. But, you know, the work wasn't done there with this line. They were terrific. Uh, Braden Point had a goal and an assist in this. But what an effort. Sorelli, I mean, he just never cheats the game. He has that same high energy every single time he's out there. Can I just add on that penalty kill? That, that's a 1-3 where they have, like, three guys across, and the forward has that right side for Tampa Bay. So when you enter on that side, he has a freebie to poach there. Yeah. He's looking for that pass, right? He doesn't have to worry about getting beat because he's got insulation behind him. That's a play that we see made a lot. It was a great read by Sorelli, but he had, like, free reign to poach there. Yeah. So many great performances in that game tonight that makes you look forward to seventh for sure. And Sorelli's shorthanded goal, by the way, is the ninth shorthanded goal of the Stanley Cup playoffs. We had 11 all of last year's playoffs in 84 games. Just wild.